Alright, I am back and I'm here to do the final chapter, chapter 15. Here we go. As you can see, the convergence effect is happening. And as soon as you get out here, there's going to be two leapers, so you want to take care of them right away. They're enhanced leapers too, they're not just ordinary leapers. So your contact beam is your best bet, as you just saw. Give me some ammo. Alright. And over here are some lockers. Let's see, I'm full on that, and I'm full on that, so keep going forward. But do, don't go too far out, because there's going to be an enhanced puker on the top. So once you see that, you see all that junk flying now, there's going to be an enhanced puker somewhere. I think I hear him. Where is he at? There he is. Alright, so you want to take care of him so he doesn't shoot projectiles at you from afar. And now you can go forward, because now here's going to be the Uber Morph. And just take him out, take his legs out, and then move on. And there's going to be so many enemies in this part. And your best bet is just to be running away, just like I've been doing for the past like two chapters, pretty much. Just run away. Don't worry about these mini lockers, because you're full, of, full on ammo anyways. And hopefully you got a lot of stasis packs, because like I said, you need to get a lot of stasis packs. There's so many enemies. Oh, God. Oh, you son of a... So yeah, you're going to be using stasis. You're going to be throwing it out like it's candy. You're going to use that uh, freaking alt fire of the line gun. That will probably take care of them. So keep on moving with some... Oh! Some lockers over there, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm pretty sure some of those lockers probably do have like medium med packs or something like that. But uh, I've already got enough health anyways, so I'm not going to worry about all that kind of stuff. Telekinesis this out the way. And then go through. Come on, open up. Oh, it's going to be deeper as soon as you uh, go out. Oh man, there was an enhanced uh, lurker baby. Yeah, it's just these guys. Oh god, I didn't mean to shoot you before. Ah, uh, heal myself because I was down on yellow. Whenever you're like down on yellow, just go ahead and heal yourself. Oh man, open up. All right, there's a text log over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that. That text log was made by Tideman, and he's just stating how much he believes that the marker and the research on the marker will help, uh, you know, further advance humanity instead of using uh, planet cracker ships that the marker will be the next step of uh, helping humanity, you know, grow and prosper. And Uber Morse, oh there he is, Uber Morse gonna come into this room, oh my! And you wanna get past him, and you can melee this just to open it up if you don't wanna waste a bullet. And um, you can actually kill the Uber Morph if you like, uh, use the alt fire on the pulse rifle and knock him into that fan, or use the force gun. But, um, I don't know if it's a glitch or not, but it does kill him, so it's kinda weird. And there's no achievement for doing it, so it's just fun. Get a melee base, lock the Uber Morph out, and the Uber Morph will no longer chase me. And so that's pretty much it. Now it's on to the final boss and the final part of this game. So here we go. Thank you, Isaac. Now, time to die. What?
destroy the marker. Not if he can shoot you first. God damn it, I trusted you. Fuck you. And fuck your marker. So this boss fight isn't too hard if you upgrade the plasma cutter and your uh, contact beam. And just shoot her a lot, and then eventually she'll disappear, and then you gotta shoot this yellow sack on the marker. And I would use the contact beam for that, because that'll take it out quickly. And then uh, after you shoot this yellow sack twice, um, Nicole's gonna come back, and she's gonna come back with pack members. So just shoot Nicole with the contact beam to take her out quickly. Reload, and then like shoot the yellow sack again, and then she's gonna come back a third time, the final time, and want just repeat and sit her with the contact beam twice. Don't worry about that gun hit if you go yellow, just use your uh, health pack and make sure Nicole doesn't touch you, otherwise it's instant game over. And this should be the last two hits. Bastard. Was this your great plan? Dump me off and die? Yeah, well, here's another one. I'm crashing through the roof to get you. Wait. Now move your ass. Wait, no, Ellie, Ellie, it's too late. Stay clear of the station. Yeah, well, you don't really have a say this time. Heads up. Uh, so that's the end of Dead Space 2, what an amazing game. And there's actually a little bonus thing at the very end, a little audio transmission, so I'm going to skip these credits and like skip right to it so you guys can hear it. This is Flight Team EG-9 to control. We have completed the flyby. There's nothing left. I repeat, Titan Station has been completely destroyed. And the marker. Negative. Nothing survived this, sir. Marker Site 12 is a total loss. Pity. Recall all flights and return to base. The other sites will have to pick up the pieces. And that's it. And you can save it. That way, when you save it, 
you can do a new game plus for any mode except hardcore so that's pretty cool and you can bring all your items and all of your uh, upgrades that you got to the new game plus like I said you can do it for all modes except hardcore hardcore you gotta do a new game so um, yeah and according to that last audio transmission that you just heard um, some guy most likely a high-ranking unitologist wanted to know the status of the sprawl also known as Titan Station and it was completely obliterated like that other guy said and so was the marker but according to that you know high-ranking you know Enigma guy um, he says that you know there's still that was marker site 12 so apparently there's other marker site uh, marker sites somewhere else so that's interesting to know that there's other markers and marker sites uh, in other places around the galaxy and um, and yeah that ending scene where I had to like follow the ship Ellie ship that's pretty cool because you have to control that yourself and that's that's really really fun you gotta, you gotta do that last halo jump and yes if you do die in that part in hardcore you do have to go to your last save wherever it may have been so that's gotta suck if you die there and um, and that also that ending scene where Isaac looked at Ellie kinda scared when he turned to her that's like a joke on the first Dead Space ending because in the first Dead Space Isaac was in a ship alone and like he just sat there for a minute then he looked to his right and then he saw that dimension Nicole and like she like lunged at him and that's how the game ended and he didn't know Isaac's fate at the end of Dead Space 1 so this game was just making fun of that by him turning to the right and he's expecting to see like you know the dimension of coal or something or necromorph or something but it was actually just Ellie just like you know what are you looking at so that was kinda of funny and interesting but yeah so hopefully we find out more about these marker sites in the sequel to Dead Space if there ever is one which I think there will be eventually this game is you know too popular now to not have a, a sequel come and so uh, thank you all for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this LP if you're on the fence about buying this game I hope this LP like helped you decide whether or not to get it um, it's definitely worth a rental if nothing else and um, yeah so I hope you guys do buy it because it's really fun it's, uh, has a lot of cool action sequences it's still really scary the gameplay is a lot better so just I hope you guys pick this up because it's a really great game and I hope you enjoyed my LP because I really worked hard on it and I hope that it was useful and that you guys had were entertained while watching it so thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys when I see you